Let's talk about Lori Vallow Daybell, so-called yep. Doomsday Cult Mom. Uh, five husbands, okay? We've talked a lot about her newest husband, Chad Daybell. We've talked about mm -hmm. Charles Vallow, the, the husband before that who was shot and killed by her brother. Um, let's talk about another one of her husbands, uh, Joseph Ryan, who is also, unfortunately, no longer with us. Uh, you've been digging into that, Ashley. Uh, what have you found out here tonight? Lots more interesting stuff. So to be clear, I wish we had a flow chart because this is so complicated, but let's just say husband number three for Lori Vallow. That's Joseph Anthony Ryan. He died on April 3rd of 2018. Um, he has a sister who is very distressed about the circumstances, um, all of these circumstances of this story, and also about her brother's death, and fairly so as well. This is a picture of Annie Cushing and her brother, Joseph Ryan. Um, they vacationed together. Uh, they got along really well. She got along really well with Lori Vallow. And um, she said that this man was a good dad to Ty Lee and also adopted Colby. And that look at that picture, Vinny. That is Annie Cushing sitting with Lori Vallow. Lori Vallow has her hand on her tummy because she's pregnant with Ty Lee in that picture. And she said she was tender-hearted, fun-loving, beautiful woman who defined joie de vivre. And she's desperately hoping that Lori finds that again and talks about where the children are. What's amazing, though, is that um, she just can't seem to get her hands around who this woman has become. But there they are in better times on vacation together. And there's even more um, as well uh, with regard to her brother and how he got together, Vinny, with, um, well, I, with I, Lori. I understand that you got some more photos. You have wedding, uh, another mm -hmm. Lori Vallow wedding photos? Because uh, we've seen the ones from yes. Hawaii with uh, Chad Daybell. And, oh, look well, at that. Well, Hawaii's a favorite. Yeah, go figure, huh? Yes, it is. It's confirmed. That is Kauai. Lori decided that she'd be married to Joseph Ryan in Kauai as well. Uh, her current fifth husband is Jad, Chad Daybell, and they got married in Kauai. And her fourth husband, Charles Vallow, they got married in Vegas, but they moved to Kauai and had a business there and had the kids there. So I guess Kauai is a pretty special place and got even more special at Husband Five because there are the fancy dancing pictures of Chad and Lori with the wedding rings they bought 17 days before Chad's wife died mysteriously. So, yeah, there's that whole Kauai connection. Um, but Joseph Ryan what about, and what about jo Lori were married... I was just going to say from 2001 to 2004. Um, and what's, again, there's, there's some significance there because the Hawaii connection is not the only thing, but don't forget, he also adopted Lori's son from another husband, Colby. So go ahead. Right. And Colby takes his name. So he becomes Colby Ryan. And, um, what was his relationship like with the children? Because I think that's, that's an important part of this whole thing because this story starts because we're looking for Tylee, so everything comes back to yeah. her uh, and, and the kids involved here. But what was his relationship like uh, with Tylee and with Colby? So really interesting news that we found today on that one. It's complicated, as everything in the story is, Vinny. But on Dateline, if you watched on Friday night, there's a big story about Joseph Ryan. Here he is in better times before he died. Um, an allegation that was made against him by that son he adopted, Colby, from Lori's previous marriage. Uh, Colby said on Dateline that his stepfather, Joseph Ryan, had sexually molested him. And I spoke with his sister. I spoke with uh, Joseph's sister, Annie, about that. And she told me some pretty interesting things. She, she told me that she's got court records from that bitter divorce that he had, the custody battle to, to gain custody of Tylee. That's little Tylee and, and big half-brother, Colby in that picture. Uh, she said that um, they ex extensively investigated this allegation, Child and Family Services, nine months worth of investigation in which Joe was not allowed to see his daughter, Tylee, and obviously not allowed to see uh, Colby, and that they did not go ahead with the prosecution because of inconsistencies in Colby's story. Annie says that um, her brother, Joseph, submitted to a polygraph test and did everything he was supposed to, and that Tylee, the daughter, never made any similar accusations. So that was a super fascinating part um, of that allegation that we heard on Dateline uh, on Friday night. So when Joseph Ryan passes away, 
Uh, what do we know about the circumstances surrounding that? And, and how about um, the reaction of Lori Vallow to the death of the father of one of her, of two of her children? Right. This is big. This is really big. It's a mysterious death. Joseph Ryan, let's again, follow the bouncing ball. He's husband number three. Okay. Before Charles Vallow, who died as well, and before Chad Daybell, who's alive right now, right now. Um, Joseph died in his apartment and was not discovered for a week. It was his neighbor who made the discovery and called in the police, and the police took his body and did a what his sister calls a preliminary autopsy. Um, and they had next of kin listed as Lori, his ex-wife. And they called and called according to Annie, his sister. They, they didn't have Annie, his sister, as a next of kin, but they had Lori. And they called and called and called. And Annie told me that uh, Lori said, they keep leaving me messages, but I don't care about Joe Ryan being dead. I didn't call them back. And then she also, Lori also told Inside Edition, the world would be a better place without Joe Ryan. Lori was very close with Annie, uh, Joe's sister, right? They, this was her sister-in-law, and they were, they were good friends. You saw the pictures of them together. They vacationed together. Lori did not even tell his sister that Joe was dead. Lori didn't even tell Joe's sister he was dead. She didn't even find out till the funeral home called, connected to another family member through mail a month or so later. Like, imagine that, how horrifying that is. So very, very sad uh, that, that that happened. Um, to Annie Cushing uh, about her brother. By the way, there's a lot to that. Uh, he was cremated, right? Because nobody was there. They didn't catch it. They didn't connect with a, a next of kin. And so he was cremated. And Annie, his sister, is very upset about the, um, about the preliminary autopsy because it said that he was 5'11". And Annie told me, there's Annie with Lori. Annie told me he's not 5'11". He was 5'9". And the autopsy also said, Annie told me, that he was heavy set. That Joe Ryan was heavy set, and Annie said he wasn't heavy set. He was physically fit. These are her words. So obviously, it just brings into so many questions. I think if you're watching this story, and a lot of our viewers watch every minute of it, it makes you think. Well, then of course they're going to reinvestigate this death of Joe Ryan, husband number three, right? His sister's there. She can tell you all sorts of stuff. There she is, right there. Uh, she's a player. She's connected to the case, and they're not. Phoenix PD told Annie they're not, but the FBI. They are. The FBI interviewed Annie for three hours, she said, and the agent was fantastic, she said. Annie told me she was thrilled with this interview with the agent, and the agent's actually going to look into the life insurance issue when it comes to her brother's death and what Lori got. So just super fascinating stuff, and even more questions from our Facebook viewers, Finney. Yeah. Well, th the bottom line is, though, I mean, anyone at this point, uh, where we are now, anyone that dies remotely related to Lori Vallow or Chad Daybell. Yeah. It needs an investigation. It needs a, a second yeah. look at it. All right, what's on, what's on the mind of the viewers tonight? Okay, Sue Wharton Allison has a really good question, and she says, has there been any communication with Vallow, any former inmate that can offer insight on her behavior in jail? Has she suggested that the coronavirus in part is the end, or uh, a coronavirus is part of the end of the world or end of the world cult's predictions. Or I'm next, missing it all up. I think you get it. She wants to know about, you know, former inmates who may have talked and maybe whether Lori said anything about coronavirus being this big prediction for the end of the world. I think the inmate question is super interesting for someone like you because you've covered so many stories where jailhouse snitches come in, into the picture. I don't like to call them snitches. I like to call them informants. Oh, do you? Because it, it helps their credibility in the courtroom. Because you're a prosecutor. It's, it's the defense attorney to exactly. call them snitches. <laughs> yeah. But, but I will tell you that the coronavirus, um, I haven't heard anything come from the defense camp on that, anything from Lori Vallow or Mark Means, her attorney. Uh, but I have said it over and over and over again over the course of the last you know month and a half or two months that uh, I could see the two converging with each other uh, at trial. But... Um, but nothing officially, nothing on the record on, on any of that. But, but um, I like, we, Sue, we, I like um, where Sue's going, Vinny. When she asks about jailhouse snitches, Lori's been in two jails now. She's been in the one in Kauai, and she's cooling her heels now in Idaho, and she's going to be spending a lot of time behind bars, it looks like. So, 
you talk, you know, you start talking to people and you know how it goes. You investigate all those cellmates. Oh, absolutely. They're, they're mates. forging new relationships. She's yeah. probably recruiting uh, more followers while she's in there as well. I mean, why not? Oh, dear. Uh, oh, dear. Ashley, dear. We're, we're, we're out of time for now, okay. but uh, fascinating information, important information, mm -hmm. because now we know that the FBI has their eye on uh, what happened to Joseph Ryan as well. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome.